I uh, just wanted to show those couple of clips. That's basically what I'm going to be doing today on top of dumping. I have seven buckets of food scraps that I'm going to dump over in that little, that little wooden fenced in area. And I got a thing of straw. So that first clip, I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to dig up and put a slice of cucumber. And then I'm just going to use that little scraping tool, three pronged, whatever tool to clear up the grass that's there and just sprinkle some seeds. Uh, the big thing too is if you saw those Brussels sprout packs, I'm not going to use, I'm going to probably use one pack which is about 40 seeds I think in each one and I'm probably going to, um, I'm going to plant those too um, all throughout my yard so probably, um, probably about 40 different spots throughout my yard here. That way I can get a whole bunch of different flowers growing. Hopefully cucumbers kind of creeping across my property and across that Brussels sprouts. It'd be awesome to have like 40 of those sticking up um, toward the end of summer just randomly throughout the yard. So I'll take you along on a couple of the plantings and I'll show you what the um, all the buckets and how much food I got from just over a week um, from picking up at that local like co-op, Whole Foods, uh, non-GMO, whatever, one of those healthy food stores. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned and I'll Garlic take it along with it. I actually ordered this type and another one actually from Amazon or something just for planting. And some of them obviously are pretty tore up, but then some are dried. And some of them still look to be pretty viable. Um, so I kind of broke them up. I'll just, like this will be a planting. I'll just plant this whole thing and see what happens. This one's pretty dried out, I'll plant that separate um, and go on and on. Then I'm just going to cut up the rest of these cucumbers, which have been actually sitting here for three months probably. Uh, I don't know, probably not safe to eat, but you can see all the seeds in there. And then on top of that, I'm going to be bringing, um, this is white and crimson clover. And I'm also going to have that, that bin of uh, flower seeds, and I'll show you the packets that are actually in that other Tupperware. So here are a couple of the different seed collections that I've got um, that are in that other Tupperware. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I, I think I threw away the rest of them, but some of them have, um, you know, like pollinator kits or drought resistant uh, flower kits. And I don't pay too much attention to what varieties are in each one. I just buy whatever seems to be the best deal. Of course, everybody wants milkweed for the butterflies, but that's only one that's only one insect out of the thousands that you're gonna have, so the thousands of bees, so there's plenty more bugs that you're gonna want to have. So any any time that I can have diversity, I'll do it. And this is what it looks like after we dumped seven buckets. You can see there's cherries and broccoli. There were full like zucchini in there and cherries. So, and then there's apple slices. So it'd be interesting. This might actually start growing an apple tree, and I'll have a whole bunch of zucchini popping out of here. But we gotta top it off with this the little bit of straw that I have, which I need to get more of. All right, and hopefully. The reason why I wanted to cover it was just so the neighbors don't freak out. There's a big pile of pile of whatnot out here in the middle of my yard. Hopefully it'll just not even pay attention. Well, I broke my thingy. Yep, I got one more in if you can see. Cover it up. Uh, so that's something to do with the rest of these instead of going to grab another shovel. I'm just going to basically toss it and just kind of cover it up. And that just mimics what the plant would normally do. And I'll just do that. I've made it around half halfway around my property. So and I doing it, I've been planting about every I don't know, 10 feet or something like that on either side of each pathway. All the cucumbers done. Um, I broke that shovel and then I ended up just kind of burying them under some of the grass but on I put each cucumber slice on the soil itself and then just ripped up some of the nearby grass not ripped it out of the ground but ripped some of the heads off of the grass and 
Um, we ran out of flower seeds, at least not one bucket, so we came back and filled it again with um, those flower mixes that I showed you and some oh, of the I forgot about seeds. the garlic, so I'll show you. Ugh. Not been, nothing too special here. A bunch of bulbs. Man, I just just kind of cover it up and it'll poke through in the spring. So I'm gonna go around the backyard and do the do this everywhere. I haven't done the flowers or the cucumbers. Then got all the garlic in the ground, all the flowers, and then uh, well, we broke the one tool, but the other tool stood up. So I'll be on the lookout for another uh, mini shovel, whatever they're actually called, and. Um, yeah, so it's good. We got some of that stuff planted out today, and especially the cucumbers. I mean, we could have waited on the flower seeds and stuff like that, but um, I would have preferred to have planted all that stuff in the fall, especially the flowers. But, you know, with time and all that stuff, uh, getting them in now is just perfectly fine. And then the cucumbers themselves, they were really just going to go into my, um, into my compost bin anyways, so getting those kind of spaced out and we'll see which ones uh, germinate. I mean, each slice had about, you know, a dozen seeds or something in there. And then it's nice um, to be inside of the cucumber because they got plenty of nitrogen from the plant itself. So they should do well and we'll see in the spring heading into summer, um, you know, if there's any cucumbers kind of intercrossing through the pathways. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.